Hi everybody, hope you're well. So this will be the last video I get to do on the Wandering Horse promo um, before it ends. So out of all the horses, out of all 16 of them, I managed to get 8, which I'm reasonably pleased with. That's no passes used or anything like that. There's some of them I managed to progress through reasonably well, but I won't be able to finish. I'm not going to be able to finish Blue Manalice. Uh, part of the reason is because I forgot to renew my VIP and that I don't have auto competitions because when I did renew it, I forgot to add the auto competitions. So I'm not really particularly bothered enough to go and then use the mobile app to do auto competitions. I think I'm just going to leave it. Um, TLJ managed to get two unicorns born, so there's a little bit of progress there. Um, Shadow Tail, I have been stroking horses in the safe haven. I might be able to finish this one, I don't know, just before it's over. But I don't know for sure yet. That's the only thing. Um, so there's been a little bit of progress with that one. Um, some of these other ones you would have seen already. Glasswing, I've actually missed days of logging. I didn't even realize I'd missed days of logging, which is very unlike me. I think I'm going to blame Star Stable for that actually, because I used to never ever miss a login day on UK. Um, I haven't used any pollen on this or any of the other horses, so there's no progress with that one. I'm not going to open Horns of Plenty for that. And I have no more horses to use for Spanish Moon. So I got halfway, you know, through without any passes used, which I'm reasonably pleased with. The one thing I wanted to say though, if any of you guys need pollen, I am going to be putting a UFOs, custom UFOs for this pollen with the highest percentage of people being able to get it. I've started off with the purple because I have the most of it. Um, so if anybody wants um, particular pollen or needs particular pollen, you know, let me know and I'll try and configure it and then just keep refreshing my page and hopefully eventually you'll get some of the pollen um, because I want to try and get um, as let other people use it because I'm not going to and if you're missing just a couple of pieces, you know, it might be well worth doing that. I do check out some other um, VIP pages as well because I know a lot of them have been doing uh, pollen in their custom UFOs, not just on UK but in other servers too, I have noticed that. My overall thoughts on the Wandering Horse promo was there was a lot of horses. There was a lot to get through there and I think it can be quite exhausting to try and do all of that. And I prefer when we used to have five or six Wandering Horses. I think that's a lot easier to focus on and more enjoyable. I think it's so drawn out actually that it, it might have become to the point where it was like this is really too much because to have to do like 1000 competitions now, not everybody had to because I have so many horses that's why that was um, so low and other people with less horses would have had you know, um, a lot less competitions to do. But that along with the unicorns and the pollen and you know, aging horses to 50, it's a lot there and you're getting a divine out of it that gives you a bonus pack and I don't really feel like it's that great for everything that is there. I mean you can kind of see what I've got here. I've got carrots, I've got a fertility wand, Equus, Cry's Fortune, you know, some pieces of attack, agent points, things for my EC, but not a lot of BMIs there. I mean, okay, I would say the Harmony Pack's the best thing there, and the Zest Lightning Bolt. Um, but I think that's probably one of the most disappointing, I think, hauls prize wise that I've seen in a while for the amount of things you have to do. I think it's one of the most disappointing I've seen for a while. I mean, um, I'm not sure how many if you've got Atlas and Pata, you know, I'd be curious to know, um, did it take, you know, did it require any passes, you know, did, how did you feel about it? I am kind of interested to hear people's feedback on this because while I like the idea of this promo, I'm not particularly fussed on the implementation of it, so how it was done. Um, I mean, there are, I understand that at the end of the day this game has to make money, but it's just over and over and over again and it's so constant um, I find in, that I'm losing interest in it which I think is a bit sad really actually um, like in, in the whole range of things because Star Stable is much more engaging to me right now than this is and it's not and, it's, and I feel like I'm not being you know promos aren't being hurtled at me by Star Stable and it gives me time it gives you time to breathe you can focus on other things in Star Stable and this it's like Right, do I do the promo or do I go and blop? Or, you know, okay, you can still do certain things that from the promo will be good. You know, you will gather certain things from by blopping. You know, there's certain horses here that, you know, like competitions and rides and that. But when it comes to your passes and your resources, 
it, it's, for the way I can explain horse right now is you either have to put it in your promos or you have to put it in your regular game or you have to try and split it down the middle and I think it's very hard right now because of the frequency of the promos like that you have less to kind of um, deal with more and that's how I, the best I can explain it. This probably makes absolutely no sense to anybody else what I'm saying right now but basically I just feel like you know this is I don't know when is there going to be a point where horse decides actually you know what we're overdoing it and steps back. I mean I kept hoping for so long that that would happen but it's not. Nothing's changed. Everything is continuing in the same manner and everything's like clockwork. I can tell when the next promo is going to be and there's just nothing, no surprises really anymore. I mean okay you sometimes get like little offers and that that come up alongside a promo but you kind of know what's going to happen. You just n might not necessarily know what it's going to be. But Overall, um, I like that the promo, you know, did offer a variety, you know, there. That it is possible to get some things, but I think maybe had it been a little bit smaller and more condensed, I might have enjoyed it more, I think, um, overall. And it's a shame that we can't keep any of these really pretty horses. I know they're wandering horses and that's the whole point that they're supposed to go away like they always have, but... That's kind of my overall thoughts. I'd be really interested to hear your, you know, your thoughts whether whether you absolutely loved it. Maybe maybe you said maybe you absolutely hated it. Maybe you're sort of on the fence with it. But no, I'd be interested to hear. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you said a little bit. Bye.